dancer Kafaya Shafao, I mean, popularly known as Kafi, through her Creative Arts Foundation, is working with stakeholders to bring health insurance to Nigerian dancers. The foundation is also launching a mental health support group where dancers can meet twice a month. Kafi and stakeholders in the industry converge at a two-day virtual conference tagged Dance to Health, and the summit is the first of its kind and was birthed in response to the growing concerns of health challenges faced by members of the dance industry. Kathy, well done. Mm. I mean, she's been kind of like, if there's anyone else I would think to do such a thing, it would be her. I like that she's kind of Forward taking, thinking. yeah, and she's also taking this mother role as well with the dancers. And I really like that. I, the idea of even having insurance in Nigeria is mm, interesting to me and how they're going to be able to regulate that. So it's so easy to abandon things like arts and creatives and dancers when you're even considering the stress that is involved in insurances that I like how serious she's taking her industry. Mm. Uh, it's, it's very, it's obviously public perception is that dancing is not a big deal, but clearly it for you to deal. make such a big move, a massive move that is kind of like structuring the whole industry, take some seriousness to it. And I hope that this speaks to parents especially who have kids as dancers i think there's that that non challenge should be begun now because i think things like this is making um the public understand that is it's a full-blown industry that needs the respect that mm -hmm. other industries <clears throat> get and i like that she's helping move that forward i like her I like the way she's going about it, the people she's bringing to the table. Mm. She's not just bringing a bunch of dancers or just a bunch of um, people who invest in dancing. She's bringing the health practitioners as well, those that would explain to them what um, it means to actually have insurance and understand what insurance means. So she, I think this is something that she has properly thought out and she's executing. And mm. I really hope that she gets the kind of support um, this kind of initiative would mm. deserve. Because like you said, um, a lot of Nigerians don't see dancing as a profession but it is a profession and if other subsectors of entertainment can begin to create structures for themselves then maybe we'll get to that point where we we'll just need to aggregate this level of structure mm. and we just wake up one morning and realize that yeah, there's works. structure in the industry you know so yeah i like the fact that both of you touched on structure because that's the key word in all of this because um She's put in a structure, like you said, it's a full-blown industry and mm. parents shouldn't look at it like it's not anymore. I think the reason why parents look at it is because they haven't seen a lot of dancers make so much of themselves or even mm. get value of what they put into their craft. Because you see your child going for rehearsals, dancing, they are behind off every night and day and they're not able to come back home with anything tangible. So if it's a full-blown structure with the proper investment, with the healthcare system going on, we lost our um, picture Kodak. Um, I can imagine if there was a proper healthcare system, maybe we wouldn't have the police back and forth. It would be something that it would be the dancer's body, a structure mm. that would just take charge of that scenario mm. at that time and just be like, okay, we'll investigate this later, but first let's take care of one of our own. Yeah. And if that was the way it was, obviously you know we would have been saying something else or maybe god may have still yeah. had his way but um at the end of the day it's all about structure and focusing on the entertainment industry as a whole because when we mention entertainment what comes to people's mind is just music and movies. and and movies mm -hmm. it's not just all about that we have the dancers we have the stunts people the ones who we have the painters do, we have mm -hmm. we have the stunts we have the stunt, doubles, we have the stunt doubles we have the painters we have the instrumentalists we have the people who do the lights and the crew, we can't mention everybody. So it's a very broad industry and only just a few. You have TV presenters. <laughs> and only just a few of them <laughs> are getting the recognition yeah. that mm -hmm. deserve. So if it's an industry that is well taken care of, everybody's taking care. And it's not just like it's just Nigeria because I, I can't remember what country we spoke about that the actors wanted them to... Um, put something in place for the casting crew was it ghana or was it america yeah, i think it was united kingdom actually yeah so yeah. exactly yeah so it's not just in nigeria it's a we need to pay attention to every creative out there regardless of the role they play so i think i'll put i'll put her and mr easy as the pioneers of of trying to put more structure into the creative industry in nigeria. yeah they're making mm. really big moves well, that are those kind of that are in front that still wants because there are, there are a lot of people that are actually working behind the scenes mm. to get this thing done and they're still working the 
ones actually. And yeah, so if you're talking about the po popular ones, then yeah, mm. Mr. Easy and Kathy. But we have people like Obi Asika that has been mm. on this for the longest time. Like we yeah. can't start mentioning every one of them. Mm. Just that they are not in the fame business of this business. They are, mm. They've always been behind the scenes. And, and, and another really reason active. why mm. we may not even really pay attention to those guys is because they are working generally. They, mm. they are concerned about the well-being of mm. the entertainment industry. But these people are picking a particular sector. We can only do it one step at a time. Mm. We can't do it all together. And these people are picking where they, they know they can actually handle right now. And I think it's amazing that they even have that intention. Okay, kudos to Kafi and well done on this one.